Welcome to the BitCurator Access tutorial on the installation and setup of the BCA WebTool software. In this tutorial, we will provide instructions on the steps needed to install and set up BCA WebTools. Please note that in this tutorial, we will be installing and setting up BCA WebTools in a Mac OS X environment. Before getting started, review the hardware requirements listed in the BitCurator Access Quick Start Guide. You can download and view the Quick Start Guide by going to access.bitcurator.net and clicking on the Quick Start Guide in the download section. Next, download the current releases of BCA Web Tools, VirtualBox, and Vagrant. You can download the current release package of the BCA Web Tools by following the link in the Quick Start Guide. On the GitHub Releases page, you can download BCA Web Tools as either a zip or a tar.gz package. Note that if you download the tar.gz package on a Windows machine, you will need to install a third-party tool such as 7-zip to open tar.gz files. Click on the specific re release package you want to download. For this tutorial, we will select the tar.gz package to download to the desktop. You can download the current version of VirtualBox by following the link in the Quick Start Guide to the VirtualBox Downloads page. From that page, you can select and download the version of VirtualBox for your environment, such as Windows, Mac OS X, Linux, etc. You can download the current version of Vagrant by following the link in the Quick Start Guide to the Vagrant website. Navigate to the Downloads page to select and download the version of Vagrant for your environment, such as Mac OS X, Windows, Linux, etc. After all software has been downloaded, proceed with opening the BCA Web Tools package, which will extract a directory named BCA Web Tools with the last dash followed by the current release number. Since we are working on a Mac in this tutorial, by double clicking on the tar.gz file, the operating system automatically unpacks the contents of such files. To build and run BCA Web Tools, you will need a default Vagrant box, which is the operating system that will be used in the virtual machine that you use to run BCA Web Tools. We will be using one of the default Ubuntu Linux operating systems called Trusty64. To build the Vagrant box, open a terminal window in Mac OS X or Linux, or a command prompt in Microsoft Windows. In a Mac environment, you can click the spotlight and enter term and hit enter. In a Windows, you would click on the start button and type CMD to bring up the command prompt. In the terminal window, type vagrant box add ubuntu slash trusty64, hit enter and allow the box to download. This process is adding one of the default Linux, Linux box options to your Vagrant environment. When the download is complete, change directories to the location of the BCA Web Tools folder. For example, if you downloaded the BCA Web Tools package onto your desktop and extracted it there on a Mac, you would type the following, cd space slash users slash your username slash desktop slash bca dash web tools dash the current release number in this case 0 0.6.14 and hit enter the process is similar on a Windows machine, where you would type the same file path but using backslash slashes instead of forward slashes. Windows specific instructions are provided in the Quick Start Guide. Back in the terminal window, type vagrant up, hit enter, and wait.
Building BCA Web Tools the first time may take up to 30 minutes. The installation script will provide feedback in the console as it installs each package. You will see a success message in the terminal when it finishes. If a failure occurs, you can post a message with an explanation of the error to the BitCurator users group. Once the virtual machine has been built, open a web browser and navigate to 127.0.0.1 colon 8080. Hit enter. 127.0.0.1 is localhost, which means that the browser is accessing a server running on the same computer as the browser. We're using this for the purposes of demonstration. You may in fact access the server on the same computer if you're using BCA Web Tools for archival processing or on a reading room computer. But if you're providing remote access to disk image contents over the internet, the address that you will see in the browser will likely be different. At this point, you should see the home page of the BCA Web Tools application. You can immediately start browsing and downloading disk images, but additional steps are needed to search disk image file contents. For more information, please view the tutorial on Preparing Disk Images for Search for instructions on how to set up BCA Web Tools to search disk images. This concludes our screencast tutorial on the installation and setup of BCA Web Tools. For other uses of BCA Web Tools and other tools developed by the BitCurator Access Project, please see the other videos on our wiki at access.bitcurator.net. You can also visit the wiki to find written documentation, the latest version of the BCA Web Tools, and a link to join our Google group, where you can ask questions and get answers about BCA Web Tools use. Thanks for watching.